What's up, Timekeepers? Me, Time Gamer, here. gonna be trying out a small little game for you guys called Scorch. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright, guys, so today I'm gonna be trying out a small little game called Scorch. So, basically, this game, what I could read from the, uh, the Steam description, sorry. Uh, so, basically, uh, something happened in a house somewhere. And you're here 30 years later trying to solve the crime of some sort. I didn't read much more into it, so we'll figure out what it is together. So, uh, this game is free on Steam if you guys want to try it out right now. So, uh, we'll go from there. So, let's just jump right in. So, let's go. Alright. We're in. G to answer. Gonzalez. Good morning, Gary. Hey, Chief. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Well, I'm walking Sounds in the forest. Like sober this time around. Hey, that's pretty mean. Yeah, well, what happened last week was quite unfortunate. But at least the party was amazing, huh? I hope Very so. Funny, Gary. Listen, you know that this case is your last chance to prove yourself. Oh, damn. Sure. So, what happened here? <laughs> the man, mm, whatever. Mike Hill was found burned to death in his shed. We want you to take a look at the crime scene. Mm, yeah. I know it's not easy to solve this case in one day, but you've done it before. I believe in you. So don't disappoint me. God darn it. Yeah, I'll do my best. All right. So again, uh, the quality of of the game for me is a bit lower because I'm I want to record it. So uh, the game does probably look better than this. So you see, there was a bit of popping there when the light when Gonzalez was talking to us. Okay, I can run. Oh, butterfly. There was a lot of texture popping for me. Oh, cute little music we got here. Oh, there's a newspaper. Beaver Tuck. Beaverton call. Forest Ranger perished in deadly fire. Beaverton citizens in turmoil again. Beaverton. Mike Hill, 43, a forest ranger in Tuhaladen Hill National Park, sorry, died in a terrible fire yesterday evening. Hill's body was found inside a small shed near his own forest ranger cabin. The local officials suspect murder. Yesterday at 4 p.m., a nearby jogger reported seeing smoke and called the fire department. Soon after, the local police department was ill. Also alarmed, the local police is currently investigating a tragic event. Who or what has caused the fire? Uh, official su official support suspect that it may be murder. Why am I having problems reading this? Officials suspect that it may have been murder, but it's too soon to say. One police detective is looking into this. A similar fire happened 30 years ago when the Park fa Parker family perished, and only the youngest child, Jay Parker, survived. The culprit was never found. As the same person struck again, our condolences go out to the Hills family and friend. Uh, best autumn recipe. Ooh, autumn recipe. It seems that someone has forgotten today's newspaper here. Okay, so I, I have an inventory tab. Okay. Let's keep going then. Do you, oh. Uh, there's our smoky burnt cabin right here. Okay, so we have a gas bin here. A gasoline can. It's almost empty. And it's almost empty. Yes, sir. All right. First good detective work, always look at the environment. A leaf. That's not it. Branches. No, that's not it. All right. Nothing suspicious out around the building. Beaver 10 Ranger Station, to Holland National Forest. An axe, the murder weapon. No, no way, that was a fire. It's a sharp axe, makes sense. Is it a murder weapon? Probably not. Um, before we go into the building, let's uh, check our environment here. That would be the, the, the responsible thing to do here. Don't think there's much around here, but... Suddenly the wind decided to pick up. A lot of mushroom here. I don't know what kind of cultivation was this, but hopefully it wasn't good used for mouse. The road keeps going this way, so I don't know if this is actually the spot I'm supposed to be in. Yeah, this this doesn't look burnt to me, so. Aha, toothpaste, the main culprit of healthy Teeth. Antidepressant. I wonder what led the victim to take antidepressants. 
Otero, men's lotion, soap. Who uses bar of soap anymore? Toilet paper is still full, so you didn't go to the crapper a lot, I guess. A map. Yeah, this might come in handy later on. Well, then pick it up. Yeah, this might come in handy later on. Oh, base. Well, how did it break? Why is it lying here? All right. Yeah, this might come in handy later on. Tualatin Lookout Tower. I'm here right now. I have to go over here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy so far. Coffee. Fresh cup of joe. These coffee mugs were just recently used. Ah, oh, makes sense. Citic hmm, sand. Cytoxin. Isn't that some kind of chemotherapy pill? Oh. Someone had cancer. Matches. Hmm. Why is there a matchbox lying here? Oh, darn it. Oh, telephone. You have three new messages. Hey, Mike. How are you? I know that you saw us. I was just wondering if we could talk. Just don't do anything rushed. Please. Okay. Hello, Michael. It's Jason from Mountainside High School. Do you remember me? It's been forever. Anyway, mm -hmm. I just wanted to see how you are. Maybe I could swing by tomorrow. All right, all right. Highly unlikely. Mike, it's me again. You better not snoop around anymore. You won't find out anything anyways. Just keep to yourself, Phil. I've got oh. a lot to lose here. Okay. From Jason... From Jason for Mike. An action figure. Yeah, that's kind of odd. Alright. There's something in the fridge. Oh. Frozen pizza. Criminal's best friend. Can I crouch? Can I crouch? Nope. Nope. Can't crouch. Nothing seems out of order here. Oh, there's a second story here. Let's go see the second story. Burner. Darts. There was something else downstairs I totally forgot. Oh, first aid kit. Nothing. Oh, it's not. It's locked. It uh, is locked. Ellie. Who's Ellie? That's empty. Oh, the radio. Hello, radio. Okay, that's... That's all probably copyright music. So let's not tempt fate. Alright, so this door... It seems locked. It either is or it isn't. Power's still on. What's this power... Oh, a telly. And no cable. Just my luck. Ooh. A firearm that I cannot take. Now at least take the boots. They look very comfortable. Ah. You have three new messages. Hey, Mike. How are you? I know that you saw us. I was just wondering if we could talk. Just don't do anything rushed. Hello, Michael. It's Jason from Mountainside High School. Alright, uh, I guess we're going to keep going to the other building. The tower over here. Oh, there's a path over here. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, okay. Just like that. Oh, a log book. Uh, sheet 25, September 15, 2017. Location, section C. Uh, exit, Millican Way, section C. Water, near water. Uh, then Sugar and Suzanne inspecting my area. She bought a bigger and uglier bag. Susan shouted at me again. Couple taking morning walks. Susan inspected me again. Overslept, sorry, gonna make an extra long shift. What Susan's doing at night in my section? How to... Hello, why is there a mushroom plantation I've never seen? First school week equals school children dropping garbage everywhere. So much cleaning to do. 
Two times with Myra again. She's collecting those weird mushrooms. I think she seems seen me as well. She didn't come to shout at me. Suspicious. Hmm. Mike wrote down everything he observed. I wonder. What did he observe with those? What the hell do you do with mushroom? Okay, I, I think I did do well spotted these mushrooms. Oh! Yeah, what's up, darling? Watch your tongue. Okay. You're on thin ice, Price. Anyway, we just got the autopsy report. Are you listening? Yes. Yeah, go for it. Hill's body was doused in gasoline from head to toe. We know he was burned alive because we found carbon monoxide in his lungs. Forensics identified a wound on his head which presumably rendered him unconscious. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Anything else? He'll had traces of antidepressant medication in his system. Right, that's good to know. And what was the last thing he consumed? Nothing special. Lasagna and coffee. Interesting. Well, I better get going. Solving crimes and stuff. I would hope so. <laughs> That's a nice hollow log you got there. I got mushrooms over here. Did he... Was he looking at something over here? Man, I'm really getting lost here. I better return back to the path. Oh, that's a good idea. Now there's something over here. Let's go see what's over here then. Oh, is this a garden? Oh, there's the mushroom garden. Huh. Liberty Cap, maybe Some we mushrooms. should go fight a dragon for them. God damn those son of guns. Foul play on drug drug selling. Do I have to inspect the stuff I have? Profile, Gary Price. Oh, that's me, okay. <laughs> Gary Price, 1980. Uh, resources. Logboy, he wrote down everything. Uh, emails. Oh, hello, Mr. Pride. Don't forget to check Mike's email to see if there's uh, anything interesting found here or there. Mr. Shogun, uh, initial, initial investigator couldn't find the password, but may you could give it a shot. Okay. Okay, can I... Good morning, Gary. Hello, Chief. Okay, so I already went answering machine. Okay. Is there anything else I could do with these resources? Okay, autopsy report. As well as Dawson Gasoline, okay, emails. Alright, so there isn't much I can do here. Give me, sure. I'm sure he won't mind, okay. Mmm, yummy. Okay, I totally forgot to check all of these things here. Cutlery drawer. Plates and cups. Ooh, key. There it is. Well, look what I found here. A key. Yeah. All right. I should have looked here before. This is a knife. <laughs> Alright, let's go see the room upstairs then. I don't know why I didn't check there before. I just wasn't thinking about it. Ooh. Oh, high school. Uh, that's another broken action figure. Man, this thing is ancient. Obituary, David and Jane Parker. Funeral service from for David and Jane Parker were held November 4th, 1987 at in Beaverton Chapel, Mr. and Mrs. Parker were born May, blah, blah, respectively. Dave and Jane were, uh, are survived by their parents. I didn't want this. Uh-oh. Did the rain... Well, why did Mike keep this? Oh. Hello, Gonzalez. Hello, Price. Haven't heard from you in a while. I've got everything under control here, alright? It seems like you're having trouble getting on your feet. I stuck my neck out for you. You could at least Hey, come try. on, give me a chance here. That was a one-time thing, Gonzalez. Why can't you just let it go? 
Because it's not right. You have responsibilities, Price. You can't come to work drunk and expect everything to be okay. Look, I... I was supposed to fire you immediately. All right, I got that. I respect you, Price. You're a good officer. So please don't make me regret my decision. All right, okay. Just let me go do exactly. my job. Hello. Oh, Mike, <laughs> nice one. All right. Oh, neatly. Who who puts their clothes like that? All right, that's that's weird. Wasn't that a wallet? Oh, science program. You're gonna regret this, Jason Parker. Okay. This looks like an old high school memory. Okie dokie. All right, nothing else seems interesting in here. Garbage. Mountain High High School, uh, call goes out for the phone when you're ready. Class of 81, 25 year really come and catch us old friends. Now, why would Mike put this in the bin? Well, I'm not ready. What's this business card? It seems to be from Mike's therapist. Okay, paper clippings. A stapler and a label maker. A calculator and some tape. Seems a uh, very uh All right. a binder one through three four. Now what is this? Some sort of secret password? Please don't tell me his password is one two three four. God damn it, this guy's... Welcome to free mail. Regarding earlier. Alright, so I couldn't reach you on the phone. First off, let me remind you, you're pretending that I couldn't fire you anytime. Don't, don't do anything rash. You should consider your option. This isn't as simple as you think. This is none of your business, but you should know that I never hurt anyone. Susan. Schedule changes. Hi, Mike. I just wanted to remind you that we changed schedules. Your turn on the watch is Saturdays now. Please don't forget like you did last time. Just a heads up, Suzanne. Jessica Polyle Polyx. Reunion picture. Hey Mike, it's it's uh, Jessica again. We miss you at the party. Well, maybe we will see you next uh, time. Jason seems like he wanted to tell you something. And anyways, I attached photo of us. Hope you. Oh, I'm reading these backwards. New Ranger quick. Hey Mike, just want to inform you that that it's time to get rid of that old rifle of yours. I know you're become quite attached, just the two of you and all. But it's really time to get a new one. Re regulations and all. Don't set the forest on fire. Kyle. Uh, just a couple of Mountains High School reunion. October 6th saves the date, former students. We're all getting together in a reunion for a reunion, Mike. I hope you've been doing well in your little hut up there. Jason will be there too. Maybe the two of you could finally make amends. Anyway, I hope you're, you're well, Jessica. Ellie's lunchbox limited. This lunchbox will blow your mind. Available for a limited time only. This lunchbox is out of this world, sturdy and reliable. People are actually losing their mind. Hello? Is anyone there? Okie dokie. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, uh, I guess I'm gonna call Gonzalez then. Uh, tab. Uh, call. You have found all the evidence. Do you know how Mike died? Do you know what the mer? You know, uh. Once you call, there's no going back. No, I'm not ready. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with Suzanne because I think why why would you've been here to murder somebody with your name on it? Why would you bring why would you bring a toy to replace a broken one? And, and then murder him when you have evidence that you were there. Especially there's a call that says that he was there in the uh, answering machine here. So I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna say it's Suzanne. Okay. Yes. It's Gary. I think I've got the crime solved. Are you sure? If you accuse the wrong person, there is no going back. Yes, I'm sure. I know who killed Mike Hill. Then let's hear it. First question. Did you find out how Mike died? Uh... Shit, am I missing more stuff? Oh, God damn it. Uh, let's let's go with these. Okay, I see. But what 
happened in the hours before the murder. Go with this, this, and what else? Uh, Oh boy, uh... Shit, I don't know. <sighs> Let's go with this. Interesting. Now, who do you suspect to be the murderer? Suzanne. Sure about this one, but well, tell me, what did you find out about the victim's past? Uh, this and this. I think there's more to it. What did you find out about the murderer's past? Uh, God damn it. Uh. This. You're drawing today seem random at best, but come back to the police station first. We'll have a closer look. Uh, into I don't know it. if I got this. Listen, Chief, I really didn't want to do it. I had my reasons. I mean, yeah, sure, I picked on him at school, but that was just teasing. It's not the same thing as losing your family. You know, I took therapy for years, I learned to cope. Then I got cancer. It's like I'm being punished for something. At least, that's how I felt. I thought about my past and remembered the kid I bullied in school. I figured I'd make amends. So I came by and gave him a visit. When he brought it up, I just knew. After all these years, it was him. I just lost it. I couldn't think straight anymore. It was like I was in a trance. So, I picked up a vase, and I kept hitting him and hitting him until he was lying on the floor. Once I'd realized what I'd done, I decided to destroy the evidence. I took his body to the shed and set it God on fire. It. I regret it now. Out of everyone, I should know best that death is permanent. You found 70 pieces of a question score. Question score. All right. Press enter. Hmm. All right. I want to try it again just to see if I can get all the right answers. I know now it's Jason Parker, but it's Gary. I think I've got the crime. I think solved. I got everything here. Are you sure? If you accuse the wrong person, there is no going back. Yes, I'm sure. I know who killed Mike Hill. Then let's hear it. First question. Right. Did you find out how Mike died? Yep, just like this. Hours before the murder. Where's all the other stuff? Where is the uh interesting. Now, who do you suspect to be the murderer? This maybe? I think there's more to it. What did you find out about the murderer's past? Ah, schnitzel. I think I screwed it up again. You know, I think I screwed it up. Still three. Ah, uh, gosh darn it.
All right, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Scorch. It was a fun little game. If you guys want to try it to get all the answers right, you know, once you've done it once and found all the answers, uh, then after that, you know what's pretty much what's the necessary things for the game. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. I do feel like the story could have been a little bit more complex. That's why I went with Suzanne the first time, because I, I was thinking, like, it can't be, it can't be the obvious reason uh, right off the bat for some reason. That's why I was like, ah, no, it's Suzanne because she has illegal mushrooms. That's why she, so that's why I wasn't sure at the beginning. That's why I went with Suzanne, the first one. But no, it's actually Jason Parker. So hopefully you guys still enjoyed. It's still a fun little story. Uh, li I like the art style of the game. A fun little area to, uh, to explore. And uh, yeah, so hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below what you thought of the little game. Any hints you could give me how I can solve the last two questions. I think those are the ones that are like mixing me up. Well, I can't get them right. Uh, but besides that, follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, youtube.com forward slash MeTimeGamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much guys for watching, I will see you next video. Keep on keeping on.